Wanda has bought her a new waffle iron. Has not been seasoned yet. We're fixing to show y'all how to season brand new cast iron on a homestead. Now we've taken our gas grill here. And we've got the fire going in it extremely hot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble this. We're gonna lay it on the barbecue this cast grill. Iron. It comes from the factory with a wax of paraffin coating in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this stuff extremely hot and melt all that paraffin and wax off of it and then we're going to season this stuff. Okay, this, we've almost got it hot enough to get it cleaned off. You can see there's still some spots right over here and right down in here. It's still got a little bit of wax left in it, but you can see when it starts turning that bright blue color there, it's, it's seasoning, the, the, getting a lot of the wax is getting out of it, and we're going to be able to take it in the house and wash it. And you can see the little spot right there. There's still some wax in it there that's got to come off and, and right here. So we're going to let it cook for just, I'm going to spin them around, and we're going to let it finish up. Okay, we've got our cast iron here. We've been letting it burn now for almost an hour. It's been about 50 minutes we've been letting it just burn. I think all the paraffin and the wax is out of it. You can look how it's got the bright color to it now. That means it's clean. No wax left in it. We're going to turn the grill off. We're just going to let it sit here and cool. Okay, everybody, we've got our cast iron cooled off now. It's all smutted up a little bit. We're going to try to get it in here. and we've got some hot soapy water. We're going to try to clean it with it. We've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're going to sit these in the oven. We're going to leave them in there until they get good and hot. Make sure that all the water is gone out of them. And then we're going to season them. Okay, we're taking our Crisco now. This is extremely hot. I know a lot of y'all are going to say, oh, it's not organic. It don't matter when you season it. This baby is hot. We use Crisco because if you use cooking oils, cooking oils a lot of times leaves cast iron sticky when you get through with it. So we use the Crisco because it doesn't leave it doesn't leave your cast iron sticky. Now this cast iron right now is 350 degrees hot. We got it that way so that the pores in it are opened up as wide as they can be. And the, uh, the Crisco will actually go down into it. Now we're going to turn it, turn it over. I'm going to start putting the, cat, putting the Crisco down in this part. This is the hard part here because this has got all them little dips in it. What we're going to do we're going to put enough in there that it just melts and runs in there everywhere. That's why we do it hot on this too. We can get it in all them hard to reach places. Don't worry about putting too much. Because it ain't going to hurt it. Okay, we've got this one here. We've got our Crisco in it. And what I'm going to do is, because that Crisco is melted, I'm going to run it around in there everywhere. Then I'm going to take it, save waste, and I'm going to pour it on top of this one. And then I'm going to sit this one back on the rack. We're just going to continue with this one just like we did the other one. I'm going to start wiping her down. These have been in the oven now for 30 minutes at 350 degrees, heating them up hot enough that we got any moisture out of them from when we washed them and cleaned them and it opened the pores up in the cast iron so that it's ready to receive the oil. We have a food bucket here for our animals and what I'll do is 
I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to make sure we got a good coating around in on everywhere and any extra goes in the animal bucket for the pigs. I'll take this. We're going to leave them for one hour at 350 degrees. We're going to be making some waffles. I got this waffle iron. It's cast iron for my birthday. We've already seasoned it as you saw in the previous clips. So now we're going to make Here waffles. Here I have one third of a cup of butter, unsalted, and one and a half cups of milk. And it's almond milk. And I've just got it on low fire because I want the butter to melt. And I want the milk just to be warm but not hot. Bob's Red Mill baking flour. I have two cups. I've added one teaspoon of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. Alright, these are going to be gluten free uh, waffles. So over here, while we're waiting on the butter, okay, we're going to start with our eggs. We're going to mix them up. We're going to add our milk and butter mixture. It's not hot, it's just room temperature. I just kind of melted the butter and added the milk. This is to kind of a batter consistency so we can put it on our waffle iron. this side and take a look at it oh yeah that looks good there all right we're gonna take it out see what we got here see if it comes loose oh yeah look at that nice pretty nice pretty brown waffle good and crisp I have to remember this thing here to. Yeah, don't grab the hand. Okay, we're ready to check it and see what it looks like. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Look at that, come right up. That, my friends, is a waffle. Daniel, how is my waffle? Good with maple syrup on it. They're good and crunchy. Good and crunchy. They're good and crunchy. They, they're perfect. They're not like the store-bought frozen things. <laughs> this is going to be pretty awesome. Now that is a good waffle. And as you saw, it didn't stick. Um, that's what the Crisco's for. Just saying. Danny seasoned that griddle pretty well, don't you think? 